what's up so hey everyone welcome to day three of the reading rush once again having a late start to my day i love how at the start of the reading rush i really thought that i was going to be waking up early getting ready really fast starting my day and finishing off my vlogs by 5 p.m because hasn't happened yet but you know we can hope today was kind of I am exhausted. Well, I was exhausted. I haven't really been sleeping a ton, so it makes sense that eventually I would oversleep. And today I did, which wasn't great because I did have like a work meeting at 10 that I ended up totally missing. Yeah, so I woke up at 11. <laughs> I had some cuddle time with my cats, which was really nice, but then I just really had to get ready and get today started because I still have to finish up the edits on yesterday's vlog and get it uploaded because I had to transfer some media over to my laptop so that I could do the editing there. It took a really long time, like I didn't expect it to take so long to transfer over. So I was waiting for that, waiting to see if it had actually like taken and I could delete it off of my desktop, which might as well get that turned on so that I can finish up my edits. So yeah, we are going to do that really fast first. I'm just going to get my editing done, get like my stuff that goes along with videos done, like the thumbnail. I don't know why that was such a weird thing for me to say. And then we can look at the Instagram challenge for today because I don't necessarily remember what it is. And we can finally probably do some of the video challenges today. Yeah, until then, I, I'm gonna get to editing. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a loading thing that I have to wait for, but I deleted what should have been like 19 gigabytes worth of storage on Final Cut and nothing happened to like my storage, so I don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna figure it out though. Yeah, this is good. Oh, you can see I'm watching Books and Lala. Love that. So I finally finished with all of my video stuff from yesterday. I posted the vlog, I put like an Instagram story, I posted it onto Twitter. I've been really trying to be good about that. And I was just going through some of the comments from my, oh, I'm not wearing my ring, my post from yesterday and the day before and you guys are just so sweet i really i had a good time doing like the cosplaying kind of thing and i'd, I'd probably be down to do more things like that but i really need colored contacts just like all the characters that i tend to love don't have brown eyes so for today we have plans we definitely have plans i have to update my bullet journal i have to like put in all the video challenges because i feel like that's part of the reason why i haven't been doing them because i don't know what they are i have to put that into my bullet journal like update all my progress on the books that i've read i have to do the instagram post for today which i was i had forgotten what it was and then i accidentally got spoiled because i was watching little book owls vlog and she mentioned it so 
We'll still look at what they posted though on the Reading Rush and since I'm watching Books of Mala, I also want to see she does all these like fun challenges in her daily vlogs that like the Reading Rush has been posting apparently so I need to see what that's about because I didn't I didn't know. And I also want to do some cleaning though today because there's just like a few things like in my room that I really wanted to get organized and if I keep getting distracted I'm gonna keep not doing it. I also might film a video. And I have a couple of things to unbox. We have a ton to do. Okay, let's jump on that. And I am reading Witchy today. Like I've got to finish that book and maybe make some progress in Dark Dawn or something like that. I do need, I think, to find another audiobook because I finished the one that I had yesterday and now when I'm cleaning I don't have anything to listen to and I kind of want to like make the most out of my time. So I might try and find another nonfiction book or let's see actually, did anything get added to my library? Please. Oh my gosh, a ton. Oh my God, wait, I got, uh, I got a lot. So I have a few to choose from. Let me do like a screen recording that way. You guys know what's happening. So I have a few to choose from. I haven't returned The Dragon Republic yet because I have been debating whether I want to re-listen to it or not, but we'll see. But I did get The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin because I read the first book last year and I just forgot that it's a series and I could read more. But I don't think I'll do that during the reading rush. But it's still good to know. I'll borrow it just so that I can have it for once this week is done. I have a ton of really cool fantasy books on my thing. Oh, and this is the one that I think I'm going to be reading or listening to today, which is Little Black Book by Otega, Otega Uwagba. Otega Uwagba. Goodness, I hope that's how it's pronounced. And it's kind of like a self-help style book. I think that I got that recommendation from one of Read with Cindy's videos, so I'll probably listen to that during the reading rush. And still have to listen to Arch Enemies. Queens of Innis Lear, Winter's Promise, and then The Psychopath Test is that other nonfiction book that I've been debating whether I want to listen to or not right now. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how fast I finish all these. So that's that. And oh, let's actually go to the Reading Rush website, to the Instagram, and yep. So challenge day three is to take a photo of your current read with your pet which this can go either really, really well for me or it can be very, very difficult depending on how my cats are feeling. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to check that out. And I think I'll take a picture of them with witchy, maybe. And it looks like Mentally Booked was the host for this tag or just posted the picture for it. Oh, and then here we have, still have to update my web page. <sighs> it's a big one. Oh, they have like a little check-in thing. I might want to do this later. I love medals. Okay. I think um, maybe I have to check the website later because I don't know where Books of Mall is getting those challenges from. Cool. So I guess I'll figure out what do I want to do first? I feel like I need to at least get started on Witchy before I do all the cleaning in my room that I want to do. But at least now I have a book. Maybe we'll do some of my journaling. Oh wait, actually, let's do the unboxings. Duh. One of the things is already unboxed and I want to say sorry because the reason that it's unboxed is because I had kept a lot of things in boxes for my room makeover and I thought that this was one of those things but it was actually a gift from one of you guys and I definitely just still want to mention it. So there's that and when I opened up the boxes looking for like all my room decor things I found this. So first let's talk about that which is Five Dark Fates by Kendara Blake. I think that this is the conclusion to the Three Dark Crowns series. Pretty sure. Well, it is the fourth book at least. And I am actually really excited about this. I loved, loved, loved Three Dark Queens or Three Dark Crowns for the first, I think first book, second book, I still really liked it, but the third book kind of let me down. And I'm really hoping that uh, Kendara Blake kind of brings it back home for the fourth book, but I really haven't heard that many people talk about it. So I'm a little bit nervous. Oh no. Oh no. I can't find my label. I thought that I'd kept it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, wait. So if you were the person that gifted me Five Dark Fates, please let me know so that I can properly thank you because I am just really stunned by this gift. It was just so out of the blue and thank you so much. I really, really am excited to read it and give you guys my opinion. So yeah, I can't believe I lost the little slip. I love to tape them in. I'm sad. And the next thing that I also 
opened before I realized what it was is actually super cool. So it's a gift from one of you guys. And I opened it up and then I saw this note and I closed it back up so I didn't want to be spoiled for the rest. She reached out to me through email, I believe, just asking if I would be willing to accept one of her custom Funkos. And I was like, um, heck yeah, I would because that sounds absolutely amazing. And I asked about her shop and she was like, you don't even have to mention me. And I'm like, not mention you. Like, this is gonna be super cool. She wrote me a sweet little note right here. And it's Mary from Mary's Custom Works Art. I will definitely link her Etsy shop down below just so that you guys can check her out because when I checked it out, I was absolutely stunned. <laughs> this is so cute. Can we talk about this packaging? This is just, I love it. Let's take it out of its little nest. I'm, I'm so excited. Like, look at that. It's just so cute. Sparkly little paper. We have the King of the North. And then we have her shop name. So let's just, let's open. Oh my God, the washi tape. Look at that. Wow. She really put so much thought into this. Oh, I'm so excited. This is really, really cool. I have honestly wanted some kind of like print, just something that embodied the image of Selena in her gold dragon dress that she wears in Queen of Shadows. And I just never could find the perfect thing that like felt genuine enough for me. But this is literally, <laughs> it's perfect. Like this is, this is everything. It's just, it feels the most accurate to me. I'm just really, really into it here. Like, the black and the gold glitter detailing. The eyes are perfect. We have the little clips in her hair and the back of that dress. Like, I am just so stunned. It's just perfect. Like, it really, really is. I'm so excited. This is this is going automatically like on my throne of glass shelf. Like she is going right there. She looks amazing. Thank you so so much to Mary for even thinking to send this to me. Again, guys, I will leave all of her uh, links down below just in case you want to get yourself one of these fancy Selenas in her dragon dress. Funkos. I'm so in love with it. It's perfect. Now I think what I want to do is I'm going to mm, I don't know. I'm either gonna do my journal really quick. I don't know. Actually, let's do the journaling. That way I can just get a head start on it and then decide if I want to read a little bit of witchy and then we can clean and then that's oh wait and the picture. I need to keep that in mind. I might actually go check on my cats really fast and see where they're at in their naps because if they're napping, that's like the perfect time to do it. It's when they're not napping that I can't get them under control, you know? Okay. Okay, I'm glad we're in agreement.
Oh goodness. All right, there's a treasure hunt. Find it. They're all right there. Cha -cha -cha. Aka. Here you go. Here you go. No, no, there. And now one's up here. Up here. John, how are you so dumb? No, 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 it's on top. Cha cha. It's definitely your turn for some treats, baby. <laughs> Sorry that you're not Mr. Kindly Colored. <laughs> well, sorry, we dropped that one. You wanna show everyone your tricks? You're really good at standing. And staying standing. Oop, come here. Here's Mori. Ow, that's my finger, not the treat. Ow, that's my finger. <laughs> and then down here. Good girl. Okay, so it is almost nine right now. I just finished posting my challenge for today and <laughs> I actually, I got distracted while I was doing the editing for it because I was trying to remember how I wanted like my new Instagram theme to go and then I kind of went overboard and then took it into Procreate and I was like, oh my God, I should make it look like actually Mr. Kindly. So I'll post like right here the picture that I almost posted, but then like the one that I actually posted was just the one that got posted. Chal is telling me that it's almost his food time. So I actually just finished the book, the audiobook that I'd been listening to. It was a really short one. I don't want to rate it quite yet. I want to honestly re-listen to it. I don't, I don't know if I absorbed everything as well as I would have liked. It honestly might be something that I have to physically read and you guys saw me put it into my bullet journal as pick the first book you touch and that's because it didn't really fit for any of the other challenges and I was like well I kind of accidentally did touch this one first in my Libby library but now I'm thinking that I'm just going to like scrap it I don't know I might have two books for that challenge we'll decide in a moment but I do want to still read witchy but since T'Challa wants to get fed because, you know, he gets fed at nine. I'm going to feed him and then do all of, like, the tiny cleaning stuff that I had to do in my room anyways. And then when I get back in here, we'll read Witchy. I think that we'll see how I'm feeling after that because I still have to edit up this vlog and things of the such. But if I'm still in the mood to read, I kind of want to pick up Dark Dawn because I was looking for Mr. Kindly quotes in Nevernight, which, oh. You can kind of see it back there. Oh no, you can't. But I was looking for Mr. Kindly quotes in Evernight for my Instagram post and it just made me really want to read Dark Dawn. So I might end up doing that after Witchy. But I do really want to finish Witchy. <laughs> How many times have I said Witchy? Okay, and then I'm going to feed them, clean, and then come back here, update the page, the online page, and close out this vlog probably. So that's all very exciting. Oh yeah, I wanted to do unboxings, like a separate video. We'll see. I will catch you guys then because my Mr. Kindly is begging to be fed. You can kind of see him. Hey, Chala. <laughs> are you, are you hungry? Oh, you want to get food? Yeah? No. <laughs> what if I stand up? Oh yeah, food time for sure. <laughs> I love this mirror here. It's just so cute. I need to definitely take pictures in it now that it's hung.